Good morning. It is the 21st of May. Today we are fishing La Jolla Shores. Waves are supposed to be one foot. And the wind is supposed to get no more than 12 miles an hour, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. The new Seaforth has caught a few yellowtail, so maybe I'll get lucky today. Uh, but main thing, I want to go catch some calico. I want to catch some sheep's head. Um, I brought a little Tupperware I bought from Walmart. I'm going to fill it up with water and put bait in it and just cycle out the water with another little Tupperware. It should be an exciting day. Alrighty, here we go. Nice and low tide, a little bit of wet soft sand. We have actually already a kayaker here. Um, other than that, surf is tiny. There's Marco with his bright yellow scout there he is oh you want to um do an intro like explain yourself and your setup no I'm okay good. sounds good <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's a section cup Alrighty, so this is marco's first time launching in la jolla shores Waves are about two foot, little ankle slappers. He is rocking a 2.5 outboard. He does not have an external fuel tank. He pours directly into the motor. Uh, he's got quite a few rods all tied down. He's got a camera boom at the front, got a kill bag in the front as well. What else does he have? Got paddles. Oh, he also has a bait tank in the middle. Um, he's got a very comfy seat. Other than that, we're going to get rocking and rolling. I'm going to help them out through the surf and then we'll be on our way. Does your motor flip down automatically or do you have to manually do it? Okay. Now would be a good time to put down the motor. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And it just swings freely like that and I keep walking it out. Can I turn it on yet? No. Yeah, when you're comfortable, I'd walk it out just a little bit more so it's a little deeper. And then I recommend standing behind your boat as you have waves coming. Make sure your boat is going straight into the waves. There you go. There's a fun one. I'll help you out while you get your motor started. All right, have you revved it a few times? Make sure it's warm, it's not gonna die on you. Back up. And just keep walking it out. And it, it's not like, it's not like kayaks uh, where you kinda wanna pound through it. Wait till there's like a flat spot. Like after this, whenever you're comfortable, you're good to go, but take your time. Don't get it sideways. Make sure the boat's going straight into the waves. You sure you want to go? Yep. Marco's first time launching through the surf. I, I personally would have waited until that set went by and then hop in, but you know, he made it out there. A little wet, but he didn't lose anything. I gave him a seven out of 10 for his first time. So he did he did pretty sinking well. Today's target, like I said, we're gonna go for sheep's head, calico, you know, a little bit of everything. Catch and release on my part. I don't know if Marco's gonna keep anything. We have our Scout 430, we got our Yamaha 8, we have a six gallon external fuel tank. We're gonna go ahead and get on the water. 
essentially same thing I was doing Marco explaining how to get out past the surf that's what I'm gonna do with you guys you're gonna be on top of my head so you get to see exactly what I'm seeing let's go here we go got everything locked loaded I'm gonna go ahead and put you on my head I'm out of breath <laughs> so I just drag this thing over the wet sand uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here what you want to do for any surf launch well oh look there's a stingray right here oh you wouldn't be fun to step on anyways back to what we were saying you're gonna want to walk your boat past the breakers or right where it's happening it's not like kayaking where you hop in super shallow you're gonna want to get yourself out past the surf pretty quickly for me i have a bigger outboard so it sits down in the water a lot deeper um, at this point i like to go behind it and like i mentioned in my videos push down on the back of your pontoon when the waves come so it lifts it up and over the waves and i don't get wet and my stuff doesn't get wet So right about here, it's probably good for me to drop the motor. Oh, I thought that was a freaking stingray. Oh. Lucky first start. Always feels good. So we got a set coming right now. It's about one to two foot. So I'm just gonna sit here, let my engine idle. I'm gonna wait until I'm comfortable to hop in. So if I see there's a break in the waves, I will go ahead and hop in and make my way out. But I'm not seeing that yet. It's a waiting game. Don't go out if you're not comfortable. Alrighty, it's looking like a little opening for me. Got my tiller here. Gonna pop it in a forward. Gonna hop on in. And you don't want to gun out of the surf because you're gonna catch air on these waves here. It's nice and slow. All right, and it's go time. What's well, cooking good looking? <laughs> you did good for your first one. I would have waited for that set uh -huh. um, to pass and then hop in, but yeah. trial and error. Constant. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely gunned it. You go, wham! I have, I did notice out here on like a flat, really flat water, it does like plane a lot. Yeah. Like without the fins, I feel like. It's like if you have a, um, if you have a pipe underneath, you'll do it even in the choppiness and it's really? nice. So, um, the reserve line is more at the front over here. Um, we're gonna keep heading straight and then I'll put the fish finder down and if we see bait and fun stuff, I'll let you know. So I just picked up this reel, right? And this breaks off first cast. It just pop right into the water. Uh, yeah, so, so don't get this brand. The, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but no. There is just bait upon bait everywhere. Like, look at this. Okay, so I got a little dart on. I'm gonna one hand it. Okay, so it's dropping, closing the bail. And look at this, just. I'm already on. <laughs> no, there we go. There we go. Like, it is. Thick. Big ones too. Dude, that is, that is so thick. That's crazy. It is extremely thick bait. It's everywhere, look at this. Okay, so drop down one, two, three, and then, and oh yeah, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just popped off. It's so much fun. I'm gonna use those mackerels for later. Got 
Got him. <laughs> I feel like I tail hooked this one. That's how thick it is. Let's drop down again. Oh, we're on. <laughs> this is so much fun. I don't need any more mackerel, but. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh. We've been fishing around for the past hour. Got a few mackerel, a couple hits here and there. We are now in the kelp. I'm dropping for some sheet set because I just want to catch it just for fun. I just got hit and I lost it. So I know there's fish here, so I'm gonna start recording. So hopefully I get a bite on video. Oh, oh. Damn it, I just got thumped right then and there. I think it's gone. Got him. Ah, oh, Calico! Not what I want. Ba bam Just got this massive sheep's head on shrimp. Of course I wasn't, I didn't have a GoPro near me, but um, we're gonna go ahead and move some stuff around. Sounds good. I'm actually gonna stay here and, and keep fishing. Right on. Thank you. Have fun with the uh, the surf launch. It'll be easy. Yeah, thank you. I'm probably just gonna hop in. Hop in gotcha. Right on. Yeah, See ya. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Whoa! Fudge! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Twenty-two inch sheep's head. We're gonna go ahead and release this guy. Well, that was pretty sinking cool. I wish I got the fight on video because this guy was pulling out drag like crazy. Anyways, uh, we are using shrimp. I don't know how old the shrimp is. It's like stinking months old. Um, anyways, I kind of just, you know, double hook it to hide the hook and just like that. And then I just drop it down. Just toss it in front of me a little ways. Probably right there is good. Kind of just wait for a bite. Oh, mm, just got one. Dang it, it just popped off. Damn it. Well, they're definitely here because I'm getting nailed. And that's at the bottom. Getting bit. Damn it. Urgh. It is so much fun, but it's so frustrating at times. Oh my god, why the freak won't you set the hook? Oh, you see that bite? Yeah, I see that too. Come on, you gotta really want it. Oh, that, that felt better. No, we had one. Oop, I just got hit hard. Got thumped again. Finally. No! You can see it hitting, like digging. There we go, fish on. We got ourselves a sheep's head. Poifecto. Ooh, come on, bite. Bite like you mean it. There we go. Oh, oh. Another big in. Safe. 
right, we're gonna do a little catch and release. Got our de-hooker. And there she goes. Oh my gosh, that is wet. Wind picked up a little bit. I'm cold. I caught a bunch of sheep's head. Missed a bunch as well. It's an easy launch. There's like, there's no waves. But um, here we go. Like I mentioned before, you're gonna want to ride behind the last set wave. Now there's a little wave here coming in. Oh my goodness, that wind is blowing. So I'm just gonna ride right behind one of them. One. We. Yeah, you never want to catch the wave. Ba bam. And there we go. You are safe and sound. Well, that wraps up our La Jolla session. The wind kicked up really bad. I was blowing all over the place. The bite also shut off. I stopped catching fish. I moved multiple different stringers. and didn't really get anything, which is okay. Surf landing, super simple and easy. Once I landed, the wind just started blowing like crazy. It's bait everywhere. And I kept dropping down and, and hooking them like left and right. So it was pretty fun. Had a killer day out in the water. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.